Okay, for step three in section B is the speed control installation. Uh, we recommend the Castle Creations Phoenix Light 50. Uh, in, in all these uh, packs, there's a coupon for a free Castle Link. So get that out and send that in. Uh, you need this to program the speed control or it makes it a heck of a lot easier so you want to get that sent in right away so you get that uh, castle link as soon as possible now the, the first thing you do is you want to install a capacitor onto the speed control to help control the ripple current these these speed controls have data loggers and I've uh, monitored that rip, ripple current on the data logger and it takes just one capacitor to keep it under their recommended minimum. Those capacitors come in the electrical wiring kit they have a polarity, so make sure when you hook them up, you, you make note of that. I, I like to install the capacitors right here, and I'll make just a little, uh, I'll remove the insulation just a little bit on these two wires to allow me to solder it into these two wires. And I like to slide this ferrite magnet down the wire a little bit, maybe a quarter inch, to get it uh, out of the way for the for the installation. So I'll just pull this wire up through about a quarter inch. That just slides that ferrite magnet a little bit out of this area. So right where this clear plastic insulation ends, I'll, I'll remove about a quarter inch, three millimeters worth of insulation, exposing the speed control wires. So I take a, the capacitor supplied in the kit and I'll just cut the leads off at a really severe angle so I get a nice sharp point. Don't cut off very much. Then I'll, I like to install this capacitor right here. I'll double check the polarity and I'll just push this lead through the insulation on the far side and out through the bare wire. I'll take the, the positive wire and I'll do just the opposite or just the same thing. I usually use a pliers for this one because you can't twist it as much. And I'll just push that lead right through the insulation and through that bare spot on the wire. I'll leave these stick out. And we'll solder these up. This this is tricky to solder because you want to make sure you get the the big heavy wire hot enough to where the solder flows into the heavy wire. 
So take your time. It's going to take a, a lot more heat than just to get solder onto the capacitor lead. Make sure that solder is actually flowed onto the motor wire itself. convince yourself you've got a good solder joint there then I'll dike off these capacitor leads, leads flush with the edge of the solder so they don't stick out I cut that to about an, an inch long slide all the wires through that and I'll just heat shrink that capacitor to the front of the, the speed control so when you're done you're left with a nice package that looks like this so to finish up the speed controls I like to add some foam tape to the bottom of them. I'll cut a square uh, for each one about an inch by an inch. Another one that's about an inch and a half or two inches by an inch. I take the, the first one and stick it right underneath the heat shrink here that kind of makes up the difference in thickness between the front of the speed control and the back of the speed control and then I'll take the a little bit longer one and stick it on top of that and that'll get you a, a nice base to mount your speed controls so to put the speed control in the side frames just to start I'm gonna just route the zip tie through this forward just get it on there loose to that that forward uh, set of zip tie holes I'm gonna take this speed control and put the controller through that zip tie, controller wire through that zip tie and out the big square hole in the bottom. Then I'm going to take the, the two power leads and bring them out through through the zip tie and out this rectangular hole through the zip tie and out through this rectangular hole on the side frame on this these wires go out on the outboard side I'll move that speed control forward so the 
the, just the edge of the board there just barely lines up with the side frames. And then I'll take the these two back slots here and run a zip tie through there then zip tie the back of these wires down to the the bottom plate and that gets the speed control installed